video contains sarcasm, dry humor, irony, and innuendos. Viewer discretion for the easily offended is advised. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Happy Monday. It is Monday. Well, it's Monday for you. It's Sunday for me. And we're in still, we're still in Reno for the, well, till tomorrow. We're going to head back tomorrow. So uh, hopefully you guys are having a good start to your week. If you're playing fantasy football, which I completely forgot to do this year. Hopefully your team won yesterday, today. Yeah. Um, I spent yesterday up in Virginia City, down in, down in Virginia, technically up in Virginia City, the elevation. It was like a one-way roller coaster that never stopped going up. Uh, very, very unique experience and had a lot of fun up there. Old mining town, Wild West, Bonanza. Uh, it was, it was wild. And had a lot of fun vlogging that and the cemetery. Wow, that is definitely a unique cemetery. But um, I'll probably throw up some random stuff at the end of the video if you guys want to see that. Uh, quick shout out to the hundred of you who have subscribed to the second channel, by the way. I appreciate that, considering I've only put one video out. But there's going to be a lot more coming on that channel. And that's about all I got. I'm out of breath. I'm still caffeinated. The elevation up here, and I got, like, it's completely drying my skin out. But let's get DoorDash going, and uh, I don't know what, what we should have as a goal today. Gas money. Maybe gas money. That would be cool. We are in South Reno, technically. We're up. We're going. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, we got a rallies, Rayleigh's, 1894. I bet we can knock it out in under eight miles, maybe. Uh, 14 items. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? All right, we're at Ra Rallies, Rayleigh's. I'm sure one of those two is the right pronunciation. Hopefully. If it's option C, then I'm definitely screwed. Still haven't heard back from Babel either. Looks like a bunch of dog stuff. That's cool. We got aisle numbers, that's good. Uh, it's right in front of my face. Hot hole rotisserie chicken. Barbecue garlic. 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 Milk bone minis. This is not the most friendliest of stores to vlog. We did get the paper towels and the slipper and the bone broth and the olives, but uh, they play their music very loud. So we're looking for Bully Spring. Red Barn, Point 0.2 ounce. Okay, come on. Oh. oh, four of them. Definitely threw off the item count. Mary's, why did I say Mary's? I don't know. Amy's, I'm having a moment. Cheddar cheese burrito. Gluten-free organic beans and rice, cheddar. The, the colors are the same. All right. So they wanted, we got everything else they wanted. 
Izzy Blackberry. Then they put a substitution in for grapefruit, which they don't have. Um, so they're getting Clementine. I messaged them, they're okay with it. But the confusing part was the chicken. I told her they only have garlic or barbecue. And I thought she meant garlic, boric. No, she meant barbecue. So we're going to actually get the barbecue. But very respon responsive customer, which is, you guys know, it's always nice. They got bigger baskets? And we're done. Thirteen twelve in the back. Hello. Thank you. And the customer, and then she just points at the four. Oh well. Nine dollar base, nine ninety four tip. So we declined a 1250 9 mile Cheesecake Factory and a 1627 11.2 mile Target. And now we're doing this 1150 6 mile two order Qdoba. At first I thought both orders were going to the same customer. They're actually going to the same apartment complex, one building apart. So. Should be an easy drop off. Good. Yeah, I've got two pickups actually. Uh, Justin and Will. Okay, thank you. And the drink is in the bag yep. on the one. Awesome, thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right. I know, I say all right a lot. Okay, I thought the buildings were side by side. It's a weird 200, 300, set first floor, second floor, I don't know.
And then I think we're looking for 220. Which I think is right down there. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Two buildings apart, never mind. And the verdict. Two dollar base, four fifty tip on one, five on the other. So first off, I gotta give a big shout out and a huge thank you to Ryan, brother. I appreciate all you've done. Um, Ryan invited me down here to Reno, so we uh, we've had a great time, hung out, got to experience new things, places. Uh, at, least, at least I have. Uh, he's been showing me around and. I've had a really great time and really honestly this this market is it really isn't that bad it's pretty similar to, to Nebraska to Lincoln though it's a bit bigger and like I said in the last video the size the size of the city the fact that it is broke up into four different zones uh, it, it's that's a new experience for me but it's been been pretty all right Uber Eats has been I've never seen so many Uber Eats offers. Never declined so many Uber Eats offers either. But honestly, sometimes it's just good to get out of your zone, sometimes out of your comfort zone, sometimes both. And this this trip has allowed me to do that and like I said, experience a lot of different things. Uh, unique culture, it really is. Um, some of the places that we've gone into and, and picked up the last few days have been different i am definitely one thing i'm getting used to as, as as i you know head back home is all of the places that require you to confirm pickup and for me personally that just it, it it's very frustrating it you know i get they're trying to cover their butts but at the end of the day 20 minutes from now after i pick up the order are you going to remember that i picked up the order is it really solving anything i i could still contact doordash and go Hey, I got a flat tire, I can't deliver it. Guess what? They're going to send the order back to the restaurant again, whether I confirm pickup or not. Um, is there a perfect system to squash these dashers that are taking food? And sometimes it's not even dashers that are taking food. It's just like, depending on the restaurant, if they have orders sitting out, it might just be some random person that's not even doing DoorDash that's taking these orders. Maybe a homeless person that's hungry and wants something to eat. And it's like, oh, hey, you know, surprise, what's for dinner? So I don't think there's actually a perfect system. I don't know if there's a way to get, you know, maybe a QR code, you scan the QR code in the app and you, that, that order is now locked. Uh, I've had restaurant pickups where instead of telling me that I need you to confirm pickup, they go, they look at the tablet and go, hey, what's your name? Give them my name not a huge deal um, even less so than you know I need you to confirm pick up in front of me I get a lot of you guys though are okay with just you know confirming pickup and, and all of that um, everybody's different you know I, I, I I'm self-employed because I don't like being told what to do that is me and if I wanted to be told what to do, I wouldn't be doing DoorDash. I would ask for a job application. So um, give me a little bit of grace on that, please. Uh, it, it's very frustrating for me. 
um, stuff I'm working through and trying to get better at. So, uh, will I come back to Reno to dash? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually been pretty fun. The, the scenery is amazing. Um, there's basically in a valley, there's mountains circling the town. So, on that note, let's get back to making money. Um, I don't think I have anything else to talk about today. So we went on a bit of a decline-a-thong. Yeah, it, 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 it's been bad. My AR went from 80, it's down to, it went down to 78, back up to 79, it's sitting at 75. And now we're doing this teriyaki madness stacked order. Still being prepared. I just saw the receipt. Got an order for Brittany. Uh, I've got that order right here. I'll bag it and you'll be good to go. Okay, thanks. I guess it is ready. Never mind. Thank you. See you come from that pickup real quick. Yep. Thank you. Have a good day. I don't get paid enough for this. Then I had to jinx it by talking about about it before I even got this order. I'll give the kid credit, he was actually polite about it. Unlike some of the other places picked up from that are confirm pick up. Like at least ask nice, please, you know? You got an order for Amanda? Amanda, yes. Thank you. And, uh, oh. Chihuahuas. They need to make a German restaurant called Dachshunds. Oh, hey, free cooler. And ice. All we're missing is the beer. Yeah. Come on, work with me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's go drop the other one off and see what we made. Camping world in good lord, that's a huge flag. I could definitely go for uh, kind of a smaller camper, a little tow behind. I feel like I should be playing like Mike Hero right now. <laughs> I, I do need a I do need a theme song. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. For Brittany, have a good day. Yep. 
Thank you so much. Have a good day. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Don't let that get out. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm is a universal language. Two dollar base, three fifty tip, three fifty tip. Guys, I had to end my dash. Started out today, I think my AR was seventy-eight. We got her up to eighty, and then went on the decline-a-thon. I was getting some really, really terrible offers. I think the worst one was a two-item Dick Sporting Goods that was like 16 for like 14 miles. It literally had me go through three other zones to get it dropped off, which no. And I need to kind of save my AR for getting back to battleground. So yeah, not a, not a, not a day that I would, I mean, we still did too, didn't do too bad. pull up final numbers all right for the day four hours and 21 minutes is what we spent online completing 11 11 dollars yeah completing 11 deliveries for 88 dollars and 20 cents drove 46 miles averaging a dollar 92 a mile went through i'm going to say about two gallons of fuel it was actually probably a little bit less but uh i think we threw some gas in the gas tank it's like 436 a gallon Whew. and then for the dollar challenge we're putting $15 in off of four lovely shopping orders and seven regular deliveries so I appreciate all of you as always for hanging out spending time having fun hopefully um, or at least getting somewhat entertained uh, we'll be back in Battleground tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow night in the live. Be safe, have fun, hug somebody you know, preferably, and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.